reminds you of something. It's just on the tip of your tongue. No, no of your nose. That's it. Oh, it's oh, it's a nose. <laughs> Pardon me. Look like a butt. It looks like a stone sledgehammer. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like that at all. It appears to be a giant slingshot or a stirrup. All right, that's definitely ears. The rough stone altar is covered with dark... St- yeah, yeah, okay. So it's the same exact thing with all the altars. It's like, oh, it makes you feel really uneasy when you pass by it. Probably because it should. Well, I have no idea what to do with this one. So, well, just start using the old, uh, the old rituals here. Let's do it. You begin to read the sense ritual before the altar. Hope you can make sense of it. Yeah, a voozle. Dark calls unto darkness. Reach out thy tentacles to feel life again. It's getting very Japanese. Let the sense of this world permeate thy smell. Yeah, a voozle. The sounds of our world are loud in thine ears to do with what thou will. What can he do with sound? Let the well, light and I shadow don't know. He of is all powerful. enter thy sight. Let thine own shadow of darkness cover the world without the need of light. We have another title. Yeah, a voozle. Dark calls unto darkness. What does that mean? As you complete the ritual, the scroll turns to dust in your hands. You hear a crackling noise and see flashes of lightning from the dendrites as the smell of ozone permeates the air. Dendrites, that's what they're called, not ganglia. Okay, so now it looks like I have to very carefully make my way back. I wonder if I can just... Too bad I can't hear all these electrical crackles. It sounds pretty cool. Well, then again, the sound of my game is kind of messed up at the moment. But let's see if I can just... (laughs) Um, no. All right, well, can I levitate down? Your weapon. No, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. Levitate. Oh, well. Ow! Oh, man, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, just kind of timing it a little bit. And wait for the spark. Make the spark. There's a spark. And go. All right, that wasn't so bad. I only got shocked once. So now what? Is this the last altar here, I guess? The rough stone altar is... It's an altar, all right. All right, saving. I have a really bad feeling about this. I really do. I really have this weird feeling in the pit of my stomach right now. I'm kind of scared. But all right, we have no choice. We We have to summon the Dark One so we can release... Arana, and then find a way, I guess, together to banish this guy for good. All right, the heart ritual. This is the last one. The ritual. You unroll the scroll containing the heart ritual. The words are visible at last, and you begin to perform the ritual. Uh, please don't. Yeah, Avuzel, yeah. master of darkness. Your yeah, servant Avuzel, stands now yeah. before your heart of darkness. Let your heart pulsate again with power and life. Why does a dark creature even need a heart? You feel a heavy throbbing sensation from your own heart, as if some force is trying to rip it free from your chest. Uh. Yeah, a woozle. Let the heart of darkness force the black blood through your veins. The pressure on your chest relaxes as the stone heart begins to pulse and throb with unearthly energy. Oh, God, this yeah, makes me so uncomfortable. Avuzel, master of darkness. As you complete the ritual, the scroll turns to dust in your hands. The rumbling noise grows louder as a passage opening appears in the ceiling above the heart altar. Oh, oh, weird. It just looks like kind of light is shining on it, but I guess up we go, no real choice, and thieves only go up one way, unless I feel like levitating. Yeah, I'm just going to climb in your heart, Dark One, don't mind me, just your servant here. Oh, oh, hi everybody, you're here too? Very good. You have succeeded where many have failed. Begin the final ritual. Soon the darkness will return to this land, and I will never lie helpless in my coffin again. He's gonna stay up all day and all night? Summon a woozle and free the shadows of darkness. We've got our title again. Enough talk. 
to get this over with. Oh, come, calm down. I do believe you are jealous. Is that because this hero stopped you from summoning Iblis so long ago? You resent the fact that I triumph while you- Can you guys not bicker now? I only wish to begin your moment of triumph, my dear Dark Master. Very well. Let the final ritual- There's something going on here, Adavis. What you do you have planned? To recite the final ritual. Do I have a final ritual? Yeah, a voozle. We summon thee. Cold chill fills you, and you feel as if your blood was being sucked from your veins. Still you continue. Ugh. Oh, great dark one, enter the world of light. You feel as if your feet were slowly and painfully dissolving into the floor as if by acid. Somehow you continue the essence. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if my health was draining as oh, I did this. Shadows of darkness, enter the land of the living. Your arms feel as if they were frozen, locked forever holding this paper. You continue to speak because you have no other choice. Uh... Oh, master of the forever night, return to your own body and live again. Your head aches and it's getting incredibly difficult to concentrate. You can barely intone the last words of the ritual. Go through it, Sneaky. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, Vuzel. We summon thee. Yeah, you did it. Yes! <laughs> yes! The spell is completed, and Vuzel awakens. Darkness will fill the land, and we will never flee the sunshine again! I don't think it's gonna go as well as you imagine it to be- Oh! What's- Oh! Hey! Hey! Uh, Avis! Katrina? No! How dare you! Oh, oh, I see what he's done! Oh, shit! Ah, you have just shattered the bonds which bound me. Now oh, cause you cannot you harm him, otherwise match. the spell is broken. Oh, shit- Oh! Katrina, no, okay, I should be doing something. I should be doing something. Oh, are they just gonna do this forever? I am still a far greater master of magic than you. I am a far more powerful vampire than you. Do you really think your spells can harm me? <laughs> Guess again. He's gonna hit me, isn't he? he? She's gonna use her feelings towards me against her. But my dear Katrina, I do not need to cast spells at you to destroy you. Uh? I intend only to destroy my enemy, the one you seem so fond of. Care to watch him die? No! I will not let him die! Huh? Katrina? What's going on? What's- Oh! 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 Oh, she got- What a the fool. fuck? I knew that a Voozle would be attracted by that spell. Now Katrina will have all the darkness she so desired. I felt that should have been drawn out a little bit more. That was a big deal. Ah, uh, the first part of my vengeance is complete. Now I can enjoy fully watching you die slowly. That's your mistake, because... Uh, oh. The tendrils you clutch uh, so desperately are starting to slip through your numb fingers. You cannot hold It's not a slow and painful death if I just fall. Still, there is a fire burning inside you as you realize that Katrina truly cared for you. You know that you must stop Adavis once more and forever. Yeah. And prevent the Dark One from fully entering this world. Okay, first things first. Adavis has to be dealt with. I got it. Ow, I'm on fire. There's no place you can run to and no place for you to hide. Soon there won't even be a place to stand upon. Getting worried, great hero. Okay. Um, let's save. Will it let me? Uh, yeah, I'll just call it this. Whatever. Okay. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm a thief, so I gotta do my thiefy things. I have a feeling just throwing a dagger at him is not gonna help or anything. Can I just like talk him down? Beg for mercy? Threaten? Tell ultimate joke? I wanna laugh at him. What are you laughing about? Are you mad? Yes, I'm mad that you killed my girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> we can have a conversation as the world ends. I was like, well, tell me about Irana. What's your plan? What you gonna do next? You gonna go to Disney World? Day? Hey! Irana was a fool. She thought she was going to prevent the Dark One from entering this world. Instead, she only destroyed herself. That's not what I heard. I heard that they were locked in an eternal stalemate. Why is your beard on fire? With you and Katrina out of the way, no one can prevent me from taking over this land. 
I can easily turn any enemy into my own personal vampire slave. As Katrina did to me. All right. I will soon have an army of powerful servants. I will be the most powerful creature in the world. Um, all right. Well, that's kind of good that your plan. All right. Well, how's Katrina doing? Have you seen her lately? I have waited a long time for the pleasure of destroying Katrina. She dared to think she could be my master. Ha! Well, she was for a while. The darkness will allow me to move freely. It's no playing the death theme be behind me. I hope. My coffin. And what will happen to the foolish peasants in the village? Now that you have so conveniently removed the protection from the town by taking your honor staff away, it will become a fun. No! Those are my pals. You cannot. You. Where am I? I'm. Okay, I guess I died mid conversation. Shit. Well, hi there, Voozle. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Hey, I, I helped you uh, escape and stuff. Can we be pals? Can I join your side? I am a very mighty thief. I can do things that you cannot. Oh, hi. As the shadows of darkness cover the land and thousands of voices cry out in agony and grief, you think to yourself, maybe that wasn't quite the right thing to do. Okay, well now we've already talked to him, so we know everything that we need to know, so now let's find out what we need to do. And I'm kind of curious what will happen if we just decide... He, he didn't like it when we laughed at him, so let's tell him a joke and make him laugh. You tell the ultimate joke about the wizard and the farmer's daughter. <laughs> that's, a that, that's a good one. You think to delay your demise by telling stupid jokes? That wasn't even funny. But you sat through the whole thing. Despite his protestations, Adavis begins to laugh. In a few moments, he's doubled over, still laughing uncontrollably. Now's your chance! Yes! Let's do it. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, he's weak. Let's just throw a dagger straight at him. Boom! Yeah, that was easy. Is that, is that Arana's theme? Arana? Are you in there? What's going on? A luminescent crystal pulses with magical energy. This must be the crystal in which Arana was trapped uh. during our final battle against the Dark One. Arana's in there! Arana, can you hear me? Get her, get her out. It's just... Let's use your staff. Here, here's your staff. Take your staff and get out of there. Come on. What? The staff has changed in your hands into a sharp wooden stake. Okay. Deal. You touch the staff of Arana to the crystal. That doesn't look like a stake at all, but all right. Irana! Hey, she's back! Thank you. You have freed me from my long imprisonment and this land from its own danger. Oh, Irana, we missed you. I have driven Avuzo back to its own dimension. Somehow. And I shall make certain it can never return. The darkness is banished forever from Mordavia because of you. My spirit is released. And I am no longer trapped by the dark. Irana, it's so good to meet you after Thank all this you. time. I can hold this image no longer. What? Hey. Farewell. No, come back and talk to me, Irana. I've waited this. I've waited four games to talk to you. Okay. Oh, wow, Olga, you brought your rocking chair to the castle. Why? Two weeks pass from the final encounter in the Dark One's cave. Your friends and acquaintances in Moldavia hold a party in your honor. At Castle Bolt. These parties always go poorly. I always get so zapped off somewhere. As we speak, the swamp is drying up. Soon the pass will open, and we may trade with the outside world. Oh, that's good. They're not stuck nefta, anymore. Nefta because we have to. We can finally sell our produce to others. The elephants? Yeah, we'll export garlic to all parts of the world. Everybody will be stinky. It'll be great. We can even import an elephant or two. Just for old time's sake. Oh, that would be nice. The king has sent word that I shall be the newly appointed boyar. Castle Borgov will again protect and guard Morta. Congratulations on your promotion, man. He could not have chosen a worthier person for the role. <laughs> and I mean that sincerely. Uh, okay. We have gathered here to thank this hero. That's me. He driven away the shadows of darkness from this land. Turtle! Mordavia will again be the peaceful, beautiful land of our forefathers. Aww. The people fill the room with their cheers. 
Yay! Except for Olga, who literally brought her chairs. We shall be forever grateful. You're welcome. He proved that dreams can be real if you work to make them so. Uh. He brought me back to my mommy and daddy, and you know what? They weren't even mad at me. You're welcome, Webby. Everyone again gives a cheer of happiness. Is everyone else going to extol my virtues? Go right ahead. Being grave, if not for hero friend, instead of redhead, Igor be deadhead. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. Oh, I was going out with a laugh. I would have been burned at the stake only because I am a gypsy if this hero had not befriended me. Did you see his eyes glisten? That's so it cute. Is because some people whose names I won't mention, but you know who you are, spread nasty rumors that gypsies were werewolves. <laughs> How foolish to believe such things. Pretty sure that was you, babe. There are many here who owe their lives and happiness to this hero. In a land with a history of great heroes like Pyotr and Irana, he is one of the greatest. Oh, that's me. I'm pretty good. Again, oh, we didn't actually learn about Pyotr this playthrough, but as a paladin, you will hear about him more. You suddenly hear a familiar pair of voices. What? Ah! There. That's it. I, I believe this crystal ball is finally working. Do you see anything, Fenris? It's Erasmus! Yeah, I see him. He's with a bunch of people. It's either a reward ceremony or a lynch mob. Uh. What? Let me see. Well, it's a reward ceremony, of course. It's probably done some great deed. I haven't seen you guys in so long. Well, seeing that his adventure in Mordania is obviously over, we bring him here to Somalia. A hero's work is never done. Suppose he doesn't want to come here. Ah, you forget. He is a hero. Silmaria needs a hero right now. Everyone knows a hero has to go where a hero has to go. Let's hope he knows that. Just make sure you use the right spell to teleport. The last time they tried this, you brought the clothes and left the person behind. This time, for sure. Okay, that was a weird vo Okay, well, bye, everybody, I guess. Can I just say... Uh, okay, bye bye Bye, everybody in Mordavia. My stats have not really increased whatsoever because of you guys. Honestly, I'd be better off starting the next game with the base stats than this. Because at least everything would be up to 300. Well, maybe it'll do it for me. Well, look at that! We have finished Shadows of Darkness. And there are no more Shadows of Darkness. Congratulations! You have successfully completed Quest for Glory, Shadows of Darkness. If you have not already done so, we encourage you to play Shadows of Darkness again with the other character types. Many of the puzzles are different or have alternate solutions. Wake up, John! The game's over! In the meantime, you are already a winner. Please insert a writable disc in your floppy drive to see... Alright. Well, all I gotta do now is... see... Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can change this a little bit. So I know. See. Shadow. Shad. Snee. Shad Snee. Did it work? The save character yes! file has been created. Save this disc for use with. Me. Thank you for playing Quest for Glory. Uh -huh. Shadows of Dark. Congratulations on winning. Congratulations again on winning. Yeah, we hope to see you in the future and whatever. Guys, we did it. And because it has saved, Sneaky Feet's soul is once again immortalized and kept much like Irana's crystal in the belly of the beast, being called my hard drive. Which means his soul will be transmutated or transferred over to this lovely and whimsical land called Samaria in Quest for Glory 5 Dragonfire. Which, not only being a very, very different game, well, not very, very, but a different game than what we've seen before because it's all in awesome 3D and stuff. A little bit more combat heavy, very beautiful, and the music is wonderful. But it's also very tough, very difficult, and very long. So, with Sneaky Feet's soul now whisking through the winds over until Samaria, we will see you very soon in this wonderful Grecian land to find out what kind of hero they need over there and find out why we've been summoned so quickly from Mordavia from our own celebration, no less. Honestly, couldn't they have waited until we were like at bed or something and by ourselves and let us kind of celebrate and, you know, go have one last fling with the Rizolka before we go? Whatever. 
Well, it's time to go. So until then, we'll see you in Dragonfire, baby. Slavaria, here we come. And that just about wraps up Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. It has been one heck of a ride so far. So if you guys want to catch up on what's been going on in the previous episodes, you can see Sneaky Feet's birth by clicking on Quest for Glory 1 right over here. You want to see his next episode and his uh, ep stuff going on in Shapir? That's what it was, in Shapir. You want to click this one right over here. And um, yeah, if you guys want to watch the third one where he goes to turn up, you guys want to just click right over here. Yeah, that's this one uh, right there. And uh, if you guys want to go back and watch Quest of Glory 4 uh, again, um, here, uh, I, I made that for you there. You can click right up there. And that's Quest for Glory 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, yeah, that should, that should just about cover it. 5 should be coming soon, and it'll probably be like up here somewhere when it's ready. So, yeah, just keep watching this video over and over again until that pops up. And then, yeah, there's that little subscribe button up there. That's, that's pretty cool, too. So, yeah, just, uh, just do whatever. Um, it's getting really heavy, so if you just want to pick one, that'd be great. Um, please, just, like, now would be the best. Yeah, just... Could you please... You probably did already. I booped. <laughs>